praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah today let us begin this session by doing a praise and worship when we do praise and worship there is an anointing anointing of the holy spirit yes we are tired sometimes we will be worried with many many things in our mind but when we do the praise and worship the spirit of the lord will move upon us and by the power of the holy spirit there will be a deliverance there is a, a, there is a divine touch and there is an opening of heart to receive the word of god so please uh, if possible please stand uh, stand up and let us together worship our lord hallelujah 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, please be seated. Today let us begin this session by reflecting on 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 13 to 15. There heavenly father and holy spirit they are inviting us to possess our share of glory in jesus christ but we must always give thanks to god for you brothers and sisters beloved by the lord because god chose you yes god chose you you are chosen by god you are a chosen race god chose you you are not a simple you are not a simple people you are chosen by god for what our lord our heavenly father chose us let us continue as the first fruits for salvation yes god chose you as the first to be saved by name of jesus by the name of jesus you are chosen to be saved by the crucifixion of jesus to enjoy the freedom of jesus to enjoy the the joy of heaven you are chosen again let us read continue through sanctification by yes. the spirit yes and through belief 
in the truth yes we have to believe in the redemption of jesus today so many are seeking peace but they are they are in utter desolation just like wasteland many are striving they are they are they are searching like anything for peace and happiness day after day they become weary they don't they didn't get, they don't get peace heavenly father by the power of the holy spirit he is inviting us all to take to take the part uh, the share of peace to take the share of glory in jesus yes let us continue for this purpose he called you through our proclamation of the good news yes so that you may obtain the glory of our lord jesus christ yes obtain the glory of our lord jesus christ in good news bible we read like this God called you to this through the good news we preached to you he called you to possess your share of glory in our lord jesus christ praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord praise the lord praise the lord he called you to possess your share of glory in our lord jesus christ think about our sir did we inherit our share of glory in jesus christ our heavenly father sent jesus to impart heavenly glory heavenly peace heavenly redemption into our lives but we are just like gentiles because we never care to accept jesus or to share our portion of glory from jesus christ praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. my dear sisters and brothers i would like to bring before you an example one day when uh, five days residential reads were going on there came a great uh, a criminal person he uh, killed many people uh, many persons he was a killer there uh, in that region so during the retreat time he can't pray during the time of uh, liturgy or during time of uh, holy mass or any uh, during time of praise and what he can't do anything he was just like a stone there i called him and inquired what is your your problem then he said father i can't pray i don't relish anything which is going on here i can't praise and i can't praise of my father i don't know anything i am totally in darkness then i asked do you want to be saved do you want to relish do you want to enjoy the taste of redemption do you want to enjoy your heavenly peace he said of course i want from my early childhood my par i lost my parents i was i grew up like a street boy and I, i happened to be in the hands of criminals and i i was there for years and years now i don't know how to pray i am away from the church i am away from the sacraments i i i have nothing with me utter darkness no peace i am of 20 years 28 years of old then i said to him you just call the name jesus there was a crucifix in that retreat hall and i asked him you just go before the crucifix and call the mighty name of jesus whenever you call the name of jesus there is a great anointing upon you so believe that at least believe the name of jesus i said to you you go and call the name of jesus there will be there something will happen to you on that night he prayed and prayed cried out with loud voice he called out jesus 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 looking upon the crucifix again and again he called out jesus jesus tears was flowing through his eyes 
the next day morning he came to me and said father i want to make my confession for years and years almost more than 15 or 16 years he was away from the church now by the power of the by the power of the death of jesus the holy spirit was sent upon him and he was filled with the holy spirit and he cried out about his sins and he was he repented about his sins and he made a sincere true confession on that day and afterwards he said now i am ready to confess my crime before anybody i am ready to take all the punishments which i deserve i am ready to go to the police station so he enjoyed the peace and he said only one thing i pray i need this peace unto the end of my life up to the last breath of my life nothing else i want not to help no i i pray not for health i pray not for wealth nothing else i want only this peace what was that peace my dear sisters and brothers it is nothing else than the presence of jesus in his heart it was nothing else the presence of holy spirit it was nothing else the presence of heaven in his heart so he is ready to take any suffering in this world he is ready to do anything in this world to preserve this peace with jesus that is what the second thessalonians chapter 2 verses 3 uh, 13 to 15 uh, calling us you are the chosen one for the salvation you you are you have you have a share of glory in jesus did you ever possess your share of glory in jesus for this our heavenly father chose us from the beginning of this world from the beginning of this world praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in john chapter 6 verse uh, verse 37 everyone whom my father gives me will come to me and i will never turn away any one who comes to me i will never turn away i will never reject any one who comes to me that is jesus that is the mind of jesus he always welcome he welcomes us welcome he embraces and he gives us a new life he gives his glory to us and he take all of wretched uh, state of our life and he gives his glory to us did you possess that glory which is your share in jesus christ our heavenly father chose us from the beginning of this world to share the glory of our, uh, to share this glory with jesus christ and jesus said everyone whom my father gives me will come to me and i will never reject him reject anyone who is who is coming to me again john chapter 6 44 and 45 no one can come to me unless drawn by the father who sent me and i will raise that person up on the last day yes no one can come to me unless the father whom the father who sent me draws him to me and i will raise him on the last day jesus will make us clean if we go to jesus if we go to jesus he will be very good to us even though we are sinners even though we have many many failings don't worry now it is a time now holy spirit is calling you to jesus if you give your ear to this voice you will enjoy heavenly peace take your possess your share of glory in jesus because you are chosen by heavenly father you are the chosen one to share this glory and jesus will raise you up on the last day again john chapter 6 verse 
And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Yes, it is granted to us. It is handed over to us. This privilege, this, this majestic call, divine call, divine election was, is, there on, uh, is there upon us to come to Jesus, to go to Jesus, to cast upon all our burdens, to cast upon all our iniquities, to hand, to hand over all our weakness to Jesus and take to, and to possess the glory which is our portion, which is our share in Jesus. We have many things, many, many uh, weaknesses we have. We can hand it over to Jesus and we can take, we can possess the glory which is our share in Jesus. So for that, our Heavenly Father chose us from the beginning of this world to come to Jesus, to go to, to, to experience the redemption through Jesus. But many of us are not lucky enough to enjoy this redemption through Jesus. Why? Is it because our Heavenly Father didn't call us? I think no. Matthew 18, 14 says, it is the pleasure of, pleasure of our Heavenly Father that everybody, everybody must be saved through Jesus. Matthew 18, 14. Our Heavenly Father is very pleased to give the salvation to all, to each and every one of us. So, it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. Yes. It is the pleasure of our Heavenly Father that we all must be saved. Then why we didn't, we didn't feel the enjoy, the, the, the openness to, the, to this call? Ephesians chapter 4 verses 17 to 19. There we read like this. In the Lord's name, then I warn you, do not continue to live like the, like the heathen whose thoughts are worthless and whose minds are in the dark. They have no part in the life that God gives for they are completely ignorant and stubborn. They have lost all feeling of shame. They give themselves over to vice and do all sorts of indecent things without any restraint. We all have a divine call to come to Jesus and to enjoy the freedom, the redemption through Jesus. To possess the glory which is our share in Jesus. Now we are not, if we are not experiencing the glory and the salvation and the redemption through the death of Jesus, the only reason is that we are in darkness. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 17 to 19. Now this I affirm and insist on in the Lord. You must no longer live as the Gentiles live in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of their ignorance and hardness of heart. They have lost all sensitivity and have abandoned themselves to licentiousness, yes. greedy to practice yes. every kind of impurity. They lost all sensitivity to Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is always calling them, daughter, son, come to Jesus. But they lost all sensitivity and they are immersed in decent, unclean life. They are abandoned to the wise things. Romans chapter 1, 21 to 24. Again, For though they yes. knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their senseless minds 
were darkened claiming to be wise they became fools and they exchanged the glory of the immortal god for images resembling a mortal human being or birds or four-footed animals or reptiles therefore god gave them up in the lusts of their hearts to impurity to the degrading of their bodies among themselves my dear sisters and brothers now instead of enjoying the relish instead of enjoying the taste of divine friendship if we are immersed in worldly pleasures the only thing is that since you abandoned jesus because you abandoned because you yourself made your heart very hardened towards holy spirit then god gave up you to the impurity of this world god gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves we have a choice we can accept this divine call we can enjoy we can be very happy in the divine election or we can go after worldly pleasures if we reject the invitation of holy spirit then my dear sisters and brothers we we will be in trouble second thessalonians chapter 2 verses 12 and 13 12 and 13 there we read like this if we are not ready to rejoice in this divine election then you will be you will find pleasure in sin and in this worldly impurity and your soul will have to pay for that let us read second thessalonians 2 12 and 13 so that all who have not believed the truth but took pleasure in unrighteousness will be condemned but yes. we must always give thanks to god for you brothers and sisters beloved by the lord because god chose you as the first fruits for salvation through sanctification by the spirit and through belief in the truth hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus see in the uh, second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 says god chose you from the beginning to be saved by jesus but if you disregard this state of your life this this privilege this higher call then you will be lost in sin and you will be condemned definitely you will be condemned you will have to you will have to Uh, you will be accountable for that so now holy spirit inviting everyone come possess your share of your glory in jesus christ let us pray together please stand up let us pray together if possible dear brothers sisters and brothers open your heart to holy spirit oh holy spirit once again one more time please move upon us please touch our heart let us please oh holy spirit we need to open our heart to jesus christ help us oh holy spirit in john chapter 14 26 holy spirit the helper whom my father will send you in my name will teach you everything and will make you remind remember all things what i have told to you holy yes holy spirit we need your help teach us remind us all things which our master told us Hallelujah 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 we surrender all those who are here all over you are little one you are beloved full of portion of lord take and make new o lord we need your help o lord move in me holy spirit spirit move in me precious spirit 
One more time. Raising hands, let us pray once again. Move in me, Holy Spirit. Precious Spirit, move in me. Precious Spirit, move in me. Precious Spirit, one more time. We pray, Holy Spirit. Move in me, Precious Spirit, move in me. Precious Spirit, move in me. Precious Spirit, one more time. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come, embrace us all. Holy Spirit, make our hearts open to our Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 First John chapter 5 verse 12. If you have Son of God, you have life. If you do not have Son of God, you don't have life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sacramento When a rimacheruni E tanti con documento No vocere ritui Praise the fide supplemento Sansum de victory Genitori, genitorque, laus jubilatio, salus honor virtus corque, seated benedictio, rostenti abutroque, composite lord absio. Now let us accept Jesus as our Redeemer. When we accept Jesus in our heart as Redeemer, there is the mighty intervention of God. There will be. So as far as possible, as we can, Call the name Jesus and accept Him as a, uh, as Redeemer of our personal life. Jesus, You took away all of our sins and You died on cross for me. And by Your death, I am redeemed. I believe that. I accept You as my Savior. Hallelujah. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy. Holy and Immaculate Conception. 
Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be in the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. 